Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anshana Himena. I'm a director of Dui Tai Group. I came from Patani or Southern most of Thailand. And this is a story of me and my sister. And this is the sample of women Muslim in deep South Thailand also. Over 6,500 people died and almost 12,000 were in jail between 2004 until now in former ethnic separatist insurgency and operation of Thai security sector. Children also are victims. Some of uh, children died 84 and injured 451 from shooting and bomb bass. And women also have a, a victim. Women more than 500, 500 were died by shooting and bomb bass and also injured uh, 2000. And, you, and some children were, uh, cust were detained in custody like an uh, adult. And this is, make, this is the, pop, the problem inside the country. We cover by emergency martial law and emergency decree. And almost men was arrested. From 2004 until now, we have emergency decree and a criminal was arrested for than 10,000 men, like my brother-in-law. He was arrested in, in 2009. And I find a way to help him. I find I met many people like military, police, and political to help him. And I found that this, this is the loophole of judicial, and this is the problem of Malayu Muslim inside the Deep South Thailand. We lack, because it's the difference of language, the difference of economy, and the difference of a brave heart inside Malayu Muslim from the history. And then after I set up my organization when my brother-in-law acquit already, I want, to find, I want to help more people who suffer from uh, unless situation. It's like the, the problem, the big problem is the men who was arrested or who were arrested, mostly of them are tortured inside military or police detention. And I would like to show the history about torture. On 13 February 2014, I was brought to the Inca Youth Camp. I was taken to a shipping container. The first night, rankers beat me to obtain a confession. Ten officials slapped at my head, kicked my abdomen, punched my back, and then bribed for me. Two rankers pushed a barrel of a gun into my mouth. I was water smacked, slapped and strangulated with a piece of electricity cord until I was shocking. Then the official loosened the, the cord about five times. They put a plastic bag over my head and poured water on my head until now. I was beaten seven days. They forced me to sign documents, threatened to torch my house and assault my family. I am not allowed to pray for five days. After release, what is the problem? This is very painful. I was angry when I was arrested that painful. They did everything against me with whatever equipment at hand. I felt pain all over my body. I felt it was like the end of my life. I tried to fight for survival, but it was really hard. But <laughs> sorry. When I was released. I feel uneasy and skeptical. I feel anxiety all the time. This is the problem of insecure and unless situation. How about women inside Deep South? After men was arrested, women come to be a leader of family, and women take care of children only. Women 
come to earn more money to help her husband inside the prison. His, uh, the military or the prison officers sent him to Bangkok because of they have life sentence. Some of them stay in Nakhon Lhasa Ma is very far from here. The children and family don't have money to visit him in Nakhon Sit Thamirat. Even though uh, ICRC can come to help her, her. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have not much time, but I will, what I would like to say, we, Patani, need peace. No peace in home, no peace in country. Women make peace in home. Women can make peace in country. Thank you.